Well, this level looks like a lot. First, the A car goes to his checkpoint, then there's a hydraulic phase. Then the C cart goes to its checkpoint, then there's a hydraulic phase. Then the E car goes to its checkpoint, and there's a hydraulic phase. Then the E car goes to the flag, then a hydraulic phase, then the C car to his flag, and a hydraulic phase, then the A car to its flag. Good lord. So I almost want to do this with one road that just pivots around this point, up and down. But when it pivots up, it won't reach the node on the upper left side because the distance is 16.28 meters, which is only 0.28 meters more, actually, than the main length. That is just short enough where I could just create a separate split joint here for it to attach to. And then do something similar on the bottom. Then I just need for it to flex up and down, and I imagine that's where the hydraulic comes in. So two hydraulics are necessary for a few reasons. First off, one hydraulic needs to account for the expanding distance to make the bridge go up, and the other hydraulic must account for the contracting distance to make the bridge go to the bottom. I don't know what the numbers should be, but I will figure out when they should go. The bridge in its static position, then B, because I will need to have the bridge be in the bottom position, so we'll only contract. Then the bridge will need to be in the top position, so both will need to expand. And then it will go back to the bottom position, so both will need to contract. So let's see how the numbers go. Well, for starters, it gets pretty stressed. Second off, it just breaks. That's no good. Give me a nice steal here. I got plenty of money. Will you click? There we go. All right, looking good. It actually makes it too. Now let's see how it does going up. Not too well. Fine, more steal. How about now? There we go, properly adjusted, and... Oh, one bad break. Two, I had to adjust the height. How about I actually move the node up, and then have the very short distance just be road, so the moped can drive on it. This way I can get a click and have a consistent road, which shouldn't break because the moped is piss light. It might be an issue later, though. So, yeah, click's going down, but what about this last little bump? Is the moped gonna make it? Oh, it gets stuck. Well, you know what? I think this can be fixed. One more tiny road. And back down it goes. Does it make it over the little bump here? Yeah, I guess it does. Now the golf carts, I imagine, shouldn't be an issue. And actually, I guess if that worked before, it should work all the way through. Beautiful. An easy design for top 10%. This level's called unfolding. See if you can figure out why. So apparently all my bridge has to start in between the sailboats, which will go by first, then a hydraulic phase, and then the chopper will drive across. With, of course, no split joints on the side. Lovely. Now, I imagine I can just start with a cable hanging onto the main structure that'll support everything. Calculate the distance here. It is six meters, aka three road lengths long. So I was thinking it just kind of folds out. So if this were to rotate 90 degrees, this piece would start where it is and end here. So it needs to expand that distance. Now if I max out a hydraulic here and expand it, it doesn't actually go that far. So maybe you bring it in a touch. This piece now is positioned here. Then suddenly the hydraulic expansion fits exactly. Now the issue is the other end starts where the boat is. For the record, I'll need two of them. I should just have them down so I know how to not have them get in each other's way. Those points should be static. Okay, we're gonna do a little thing called a steel under support. It's just the bottom's very stressed. Oh, and there she goes. I should probably have multiple anchor points. You want to screw the one cable? I'm gonna go with two of them. And then we'll do a tiny rope under support just to hold the middle. There we go, that's not going anywhere. And it's just under budget two. Yeah, but it doesn't expand like you hope it would. So you gotta take the nodes and bring them in a little. And how does it contract? It goes a little too far, which is, I think, a good sign. And you take the hydraulics, you make them shorter. And it still has a bit of a balancing problem, so that may throw it off as well. Oh, but it doesn't break right away. That's a good start. Wait, it's on. Wait, this could work, maybe. No, it's just hanging out. Having fun there? So I need to counteract the swinging. You know what? I guess I could just aggressively make this a jump. Alright, this looks like a very smooth bridge. Now does it jump? 
Oh, it does. Hey, under half budget too. Okay, the idea had merit. Damn, people got this for cheap. 14,000. I mean, it's, wow, actually perfectly flat too. I think they managed to rest the road on the ledge before the ramp. That takes a lot of precision. This one has the bridge start under it. Oh, there are multiple solutions and somehow the car doesn't get wet. Wow, fair play. This one looks tricky. First off, four roads and four hydraulics max. I imagine four roads cleanly gets me there. So first A car goes to its checkpoint, then a hydraulic phase, then the C car goes to its checkpoint, then two whole hydraulic phase happens. Phases? Because then C car continues from his checkpoint to his flag, then A car continues from his checkpoint to his flag. So I see why there would be two hydraulic phases, but I don't think I actually need it. First off, I want to draw a box here just to kind of demonstrate. This box and everything inside it should eventually be moved from its current location to the nodes directly above it. And doing so would probably mean that I would need a hydraulic that is double the length, which thankfully is a max length hydraulic. So if I start from this road and go all the way up max distance, let's say it's held into place, and let's say this bridge is going nowhere. A hydraulic would then bring the whole bridge up, but it may be unbalanced. I just want to check that it would be in fact imbalanced. Yeah, it kind of pivots weirdly. That's no good. What if I had like a few more hydraulics that did some really weird stuff? Now, I wonder if I have these weird hydraulics on the side, if I actually need this center part. A will go up, then all that needs to happen is the bridge needs to rotate. That would mean it clicks into these two points. Now, let me see what that looks like. Uh, and click. So that gets there cleanly. After the A and C cars are in place, I would then probably take advantage of both hydraulic phases, bring the bridge to neutral. Mmm, I see the issue here. What if I abandon the long hydraulics and go for some more flat roads instead? Let's just say I did smaller hydraulics instead. Because this box needs to move from its current location to the next set of stack joints above it. That means I just gotta pull it up and maybe it's as easy as you'd think it'd be. This looks too weak and too expensive, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I don't want the lifting hydraulics to engage right away. However, I do want them to engage after the C car makes it. When that happens, I'm gonna actually have to, have to make these split joints. So D will bring them all up. Then E, I guess nothing could happen. And G is just the pivoting. I can detach, detach. Let's see if this idea has any merit. Oh, there we go. Come on. How dare you. Well, that's what breaks. I'll just make it steal for now. Recognizing a little over budget. Let's just at least get the working concept. Click, click, no break. And then the whole thing comes up and it clicks. So actually the C car makes it just fine. So we got a pretty nice working mechanic here. It's just $201 over budget. I wonder if it actually needs to be fully braced. Like I wonder if I could just lose a wood piece. It still has three anchor points holding it in. So it actually does look pretty stable. Oh, and stable it is. Ah, oh, damn near. That's what broke. I wonder if it can be rope. It's still under half budget. It's just under tension, so I figure rope is workable. Hey, let's go. Let's make sure this last car can get it up. And lo and behold, look at that. I probably could have shaved money with the two giant hydraulics, but whatever. Looking at the gallery, got a two hydraulic solution. One tiny hydraulic, one big hydraulic. It climbs its way up just barely. Although the right side hydraulic never connects to anything. It just almost serves as a timer. Yeah. The split joints only click the instant a hydraulic phase is over. So this hydraulic moving has to be at the specific length so the hydraulic and phase can end exactly when the joints are overlapping. And that way it can use gravity. Very clever. This one's called locked in a box. Oh, the box is the roads. Okay, so the, first there's a hydraulic phase and then both cars drive. So I can make a split joint here, allowing the roads to maybe fold out to become actual roads. However, two roads have a length of four meters. The gap is six meters. So I need one more road at the edge of both of these cliffs. Of course, with their own split joints. Then it's got to fold out. So let me do one side at a time. This piece has to move to here. 
And if I were to put a hydraulic that expands, it would get that far. I think it also might work to, if it's contracted. So then at least I can support it with steel. But then this second road also has to rotate another 90 degrees. So I'm thinking that I can make like a new little wood connection like that. And then the tiny wood piece here would have to end up here. So again, I could do a contracting hydraulic. That needs to be anchored to the first set of roads. I'm just curious if the idea has any merit to it. Probably not. Never mind. It works literally perfectly first try. Are you kidding me? Oh, the beautiful calculations. Well, that was easy. I mean, yeah, sure, the budget's bad, but that was a literal first try. And it's under half budget anyway, so, you know, props to everyone for getting it cheap. Look at this beautiful fold outwards. Yeah, it's all steel, but it's not even close to stressed. Eh, except when the cars dry over. Eh, details, details. I'm not even gonna shave it. Instead, I'll vicariously live through this. This appears to be the cheapest one that doesn't involve a physics glitch. It does take advantage of gravity, it looks like. So very well done. Oh my phases. This goes up to K. What is going on here? I think the dashed lines means that each of these rows are a section, but they don't have to be done in order. I bet I could start with the police car and go to like A3 first. Then there'd be a hydraulic phase. Then something would come by. Then there'd be another hydraulic phase. From A3, I could go to A1 in which the car would turn around, then it would be a hydraulic phase, then it would continue. Afterwards, I could go to A2, which would have a hydraulic phase, a ship come by, another hydraulic phase, and then a resume. Although the vehicle that's attached to the stop sign is the one that's not overlapping. A2's vehicle is the flying one. A3's vehicle is the water one. I feel like I could just start with roads that meet in the middle of the stop signs. Here would be the only split joint, and then I would have each road be its own little hinge. It's okay now. I've built plenty of bridges like this before. Surely it won't be too hard. I'll let it be expensive, obviously. Let's just see. I copy it, paste it. That's way under half budget. Because I have the money, I guess I can support more of the wood truss here. And then let's see. Not very stressed. So how on earth does this work? Guess the stop sign stops. I probably don't need to have it move. It also breaks like crazy when it does move. Let me have it be so at A2 and A3, we actually don't have any hydraulic movement. So it goes up, and then the boat comes. That's fine, then it drives, hits this turnaround, and now the movement happens. However, thanks to gravity, it's a bit of a disaster. Let me try fewer hydraulics. I feel like I'm better off than not having it be tensioned. Instead, just having it be a muscle. A half steel, half hydraulic muscle. Now let's see, that contracts fine. Just simply not enough. But the idea is there. Now I'm gonna get ahead of this. Let's go cable and cable. I also don't see the purpose of these ropes. Just because it's actually quite rigid. The one thing with these hydraulics is that you can actually make them wider. And then actually have a expanding hydraulic in the middle. Wait till you see what the expanding hydraulic does here. So it allows it to come in more. It's a little bit too much more. If I raise this point up and maybe center the hydraulics, maybe it'd work a little better. And with a little bit of tweaking, I got it to click and it's back under half budget again. Oh, but now that cable looks terrible. Oh no, I even upgraded it too. What is kind of just carrying the whole bridge on its shoulder? I'll do a cable muscle for now, but that might not be the best way. It's also expensive as hell. I mean, sure, it clicks, but then... Well, I mean, it is working. So, at least credit due where credit is due. What do I need to shave? Four and a half thousand? You know what? That's easy. One thing I noticed is that this muscle is actually deeply unbalanced. Both the bottom parts were barely taking any stress, so I could just go with a rope. Actually, that's probably preferable to uh, doing any other shave right now. Now I only need 2,000 off. Let's give her some steel. Is this steel in tension? Because I think that means it can be rope. Yeah, it goes down just fine. There is something needed there, and I guess a tension piece was all I needed. Oh, I did it, half budget. 
Now I know people got this for half my budget, so I'm curious to see. Well, this guy went down first and then up. I mean, that does involve a cheaper hydraulic budget, but I think it just mostly works because it was actually shaved. I'm having a great time. This world has been nothing short of excellent as far as level design goes. I'm excited to see what's next.